how do you say Swift UI compares to web frameworks such as React? So if I look at Swift UI, it's it's a lot closer to React than you know uh, UI Kit, for example, and the way that you uh, even code some of the you know the layout, the modifiers, and stuff like that, uh, and also the way you code the animations is very different. Um, so yes. You know, Swift UI is much closer to React, which is why I believe there's such a popularity with Swift UI right now, especially amongst people who are looking to learn iOS, right? Um, those who have learned Swift in the past, they love, you know, Swift, they love the iOS platform. But the key is, how do you convince the rest of the audience? Those who those people are con who are considering uh, Flutter, who are considering Jetpack Compose or React Native or you know, all sorts of platforms that, you know, uh, that does cross platforms and whatnot. Well, how do you convince them to use Swift UI? And the key to me is that, you know, you have Swift UI, I think it's a lot simpler, it's a lot more modern. It's, um, you know, it's made by Apple, which means that it supports all of these uh, uh, SDKs and, and, and powerful things that you can do in iOS. And it's native. So, you know, there's nothing you can ask more than that. Like, the power of native cannot be understated. And I, I, I suggest every designer, developers, to really look at how you can build something in SwiftUI before judging it. Because a lot of people are there like, hey, you know, I want to wait a little bit for SwiftUI. I want to wait uh, because, you know, Flutter seems interesting. It's quite pl cross-platform. Um, it has a lot of new ideas. But have you tried SwiftUI? That's the question. If you try it, please let me know because I love it. This is one of the best things I've used at least over the past uh, five, six years for sure. Hmm. Certainly there are some uh, developers who say, you know, don't learn JavaScript, it's not a nice language or whatever, but actually it's done a lot to inspire other languages, in including Swift. As you say, Swift UI does build on lots of the same concepts that really took off in React. And we should be very grateful to that community for inspiring this kind of work and, and letting us take ideas from there. Would you say that we had seen similar levels of interest from designers for React, or was it just another level for them? They weren't interested. Well, you brought up a great point. React definitely inspired uh, Swift UI, in my opinion. Um, to me, as a designer, um, I always look for the best ideas. I always look for the best tools to use. And, um, you know, I, I'm not like sponsored by Swift UI, I'm not sponsored. I, I mean, there's no way I can get sponsored by Swift UI anyways. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's just one of the best things I've ever used. Um, and uh, w one thing that happened when I was teaching UI Kit, uh, because I've been teaching UI Kit for about five years, is that one, it was very difficult to, to get uh, a lot of people on board, you know, especially in terms of getting storyboard. There's a lot of division amongst uh, folks who are using uh, iOS. To say, okay, should I use uh, Storyboard? Should I use everything in code? Should I use uh, um, Interface Builder? You know, there's so many things. It's very divisive. Um, and then, you know, for me, it was very clear that if I wanted to teach the designers and get them to to use Xcode, that I have to teach them Interface Builder and Storyboard, and you know, and try to connect it to the code. But the problem is not with Interface Builder necessarily. The problem is after. Right, mid road. You know, you have to connect the IB outlets to the code. You know, the 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 editor itself. There's nothing wrong, but at some point you're gonna be like, I want to do more than this. I want to do animations. I want to make it more powerful. I want to have interactions. And if you want to do that, then you have to connect everything in code. And as soon as you do that, then it makes more complicated than either one. You know, either going to code only or or storyboard only, which is impossible. And to me, SwiftUI feels like the answer to that problem.